Yeah! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Did you well, like, oh no. I walked right in on that. I knew it was going on. You're like, I hate that sound. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. What is up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Uh, today's video is a very special one. Not only, for one, this video is sponsored by Bucks Hunting. Um, you know I'm not the biggest whitetail guy in the world. Uh, I do have some good deer spots, which when I get back from Alaska, I will be hitting up. Yes, this is the last video, last normal video until uh, right before the Alaska video starts. So Tuesday will be the, Ala the first Alaska video. And I don't know what we're gonna be hunting first, but y'all have to tune in to see. Uh, this is a buck shirt, one of my favorite ones. Check that out. Beauty. If you guys are interested in any of the bucks gear, all my big white tail, all my deer hunters, all my big game hunters. Uh, Bradley's much more of a big game hunter than myself. It's cool stuff. Yeah, you, uh, you're actually, where are you headed? You're headed to New Mexico, right? Yeah, not too long. Sheep hunting. Sheep hunting. True sheep I, tag the, down the, there. That's a dream tag. Like, yeah, for a non-resident. You like and a, your brother. That's like a once in a lifetime thing. Right? He didn't draw one. Oh, he didn't. He didn't draw one, no. Gotcha. So yeah, should be fun. Super jacked up for that. But yeah, if you like the big game stuff, check out Bucks. Yeah. We'll be doing the same stuff we're doing with ducks. Yep. Gonna branch into the white tail and big oh. game world. So Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it'll be nice. Uh use code Bobby. When you check out at Bucks, it'll save yourself some money. You can share that code with all your friend family and friends. You guys have been asking to see all the maps. Uh so my plan today is uh Brad, you wanna stick around and go out back with me? After right the Okay. So Brad and I are gonna take you out back. Uh, we've been literally back through the last three days together uh, with the diggers, uh, mom construction. Uh, I will also link them down below. Big shout out to Garrett and his uncle for doing all this dirt work for me. Uh, the last pond video, the pond was this big. Now the pond's this big. So stick around for it. Um, I made a mistake on the old pit blind. Ooh. Stick around, I'll show you. But to kick it off here, are you gonna just take over? Yeah, Fred, you're just gonna take over the whole show? Okay. You guys would probably enjoy that. Uh, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite mounts because there has been a staggering amount of you that have just requested to see them. And uh, first off, I'm going to show you this one. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful interface, blue goose. Yeah, it's got an awesome, uh, Oh yeah, check out the old tarsal band on that guy. By the way, that's one of the main reasons we're going to Alaska with uh, Illusion Island Outfitters, is for a tarsal brand. But that is uh, Drew's bird. He donated it to the lodge, basically. Um, all of the big game, guys. All of these, all of them. Antelope, elk, whitetail. Uh, these are all girls, so. It was last year, I took you through each of them. Actually, Gerald didn't, he explained every single hunt. You'll have to go back and find that because that, it's a long story, as you can tell. Uh, these are Gerald's, a pair of blue geese that he shot down in Arkansas. You can tell how rusty their faces are. So cool, coming out of the iron rice fields. Uh, I love those. These up here, uh, yeah, that is my widgeon. Actually, that might be Gerald's widgeon. We have so many mounted birds in here. Oh, this is Gerald's witch, and check this out. He actually has a storm. It's a beauty. Have you ever seen that storm widget up there? That's Gerald's. I have. Yeah, you, it's hard to notice. Yeah, it's not completely like under the cheek, but it's almost. You know where he shot that? I can't see. I wish Gerald was here because I would know. Um, and then that goose there, yes. It has a collar on it, which came on a different bird, but it was banded. You see the band on it? I shot that two years ago. And then that one back there is Gerald's, and that is a leucistic uh, snow goose, a leucistic Ross, I believe. And that is a very, 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 very rare special snow goose. Um, as some of you know, some of you might not know, um, some birds can be leucistic, and it's where their colored feathers like doesn't get the dark pigment. So where he should have black on his flight feathers and everything, he actually has uh, like a cinnamon red color. It's really cool. 
Uh, over here, the Sand Hill Crane. Yeah, I know, Sand Hill Flyways, but no cranes. It'd be cool if you had them. Oh, dude, and you can hunt them in Kansas. Have you ever hunted them? I have hunted them in Texas, not Kansas. If we, we get them out west and they're just, they touch for a couple days and then they're migrating into Texas and Oklahoma so fast. But that is Gerald's Crane and this is Gerald's Spec. Check out that guy. Absolutely tar bellied up with a collar. That's a beauty. Yeah, that's a beauty. That crane is cool. Yeah. What's cool about Nebraska is we get so many of those that come back in the spring. You can't hunt. So them. many. And I think we are, we might be the only state in the Midwest where you can't shoot them because it's such a big, like, tourist attraction yeah. on the West Platte. Grand Island. Yeah, Grand Island, like going out towards North Platte on the Platte. There's yeah. Hundreds of thousands of them at a time Tons. where the river just loads up and people come from all over the world to see it. Yep. It's cool. I went out there with Ducks Unlimited that time and, what, and seen it. Uh, these are actually girls, but this is one of my favorite double mounts in the entire lodge. Uh, these are girls. He's got some special birds and it's a pair of uh, Rossi Blues and they are beauties. As you can tell, uh, Kurt did all these mounts. Y'all have met old Kurt Dog. Uh, he just took a handful of snows from me again um and then i got let's see a couple more to show you i'm going to show you the waterfowl i don't want to drag this out too long because i want to get back to the pond but we shot this last year uh those of you that were on that hunt with us it was awesome those of you that seen that hunt because there is a video on it and it is titled i believe uh canada speckled belly cross so that's what that bird is as you can see it's got speck orange feet uh a lesser belly really dark speck wings a canada neck uh a pink bill and then it has that cheek patch on it as you can see it's just an awesome bird when we seen it coming in we all spotted it and was like there's a cross there's a cross you know special bird special bird uh, those up there, two just really, really, really good looking blues. Gerald's also. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead. Where's that light at? Boom, boom. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and show you this. I haven't showed you guys this in a long time. So this was last year's uh, guide season. And as you can tell, the amount of y'all that are from the east half of the nation is crazy. Um, there's only a few states and most of them just being right here that we haven't had people come from uh, So look we have just a couple from California, Oregon, none in Washington This is Chris and Gavin in Utah and then just so many throughout here. It's pretty awesome But you you met uh, a lot of the clients. Yeah from last year Yeah, it's fun to see people come in from all over the place and especially a lot of them never chasing the lessers and the geese like that before and seeing a lot of their jaws just like yeah a lot of like a lot of uh can or honker hunters and wood duck hunters yeah. you know honestly that's all they get like alabama georgia that's what's cool about it you forget like knowing you coming down here the last four years like you get spoiled a little bit with it and then a lot of people like they've never experienced that so for you you see it, it's like that's another really good day but yeah. for a lot of other people it's like what in the hell just happened right which is cool to see yes very cool it is cool we're uh we are blessed here uh, we have an amazing flyway and that is i guess that's a good time to go into the pond that's why i built that pond you know yeah you know a lot of birds that trade back and forth here well that will be right very here cool. right over this bad boy if it turns out how we imagine it it could be cool even just for the experience of people being here and creeping up over that hill and having that be loaded up with geese like just any of the other it. roosts within a mile from here just to watch it and hear it yes be, it would be loud it'll be very loud <laughs> potentially if i mean if that filled up you would be able to hear it from the, oh yeah especially on here. a north wind blowing the sound to the lodge yeah <laughs> like it makes one, you smile one of those things where you're probably not going to complain too much about it if you get no. kept up by geese all night no. before you hunt, so uh there was four teal on it uh yesterday morning and a bunch of dove around it but they already have four teal find it it's like i said it's in a really good fly line which is the highway that runs by my house blowing smoke dude that's what i was gonna say they are blowing some smoke aren't they they're just getting it some big toys in the sandbox yep he must be pulling out or he wants to talk to me probably yep 
Put up! Not much! You pulling her out? I'm pulling this out of here and go get the blade and come back and smooth her all up. Oh, you the skid steer? No, the uh, motor grader. Oh, gotcha. I'll be back in a little bit. Right on, brother. All right, man. He's such a cool guy. Oh, he is so nice. They're, I've met three of them now. I met his foreman, uh, the big excavator operator, and he, the big es excavator operator. He is an amazing operator. He has came and changed this pond. Uh, that excavator is huge. I believe it's a six yard bucket. It's massive. Let's take a look. Uh, yes, again, I did mess up. Not a huge mess up with the pit blind. Now that the pond's dug, I wish that I would have waited to put in the pit blind. I think I think you show them it and ask them what they think. Yeah, true. I think what's gonna happen is this is gonna look awesome once it's finished up, and you're immediately gonna say, damn, I wish I'd have just spent a yeah. half a day to dig I it know. up and turn it. I don't wanna dig it up. I know. I don't wanna dig it up. I know. It's in there really good and the, the, there's a corner on it that was cracked out and it kind of blew out. Check him out though. This is a 345C I believe. Part of the sticker's off but I believe it's a 345C. It is huge. Absolutely huge. He's, uh, he's done digging. As you can see all he's doing now, they're making me a little bank down here. I'm keeping this a road up here. Uh, but they have smoothed out all of the edges. I'm gonna go walk back here. Actually, I'm gonna go around him so we can show. Now I'll go over here. I'll show you why I messed up on the pit blind, but I want to show you the pond first because it is a complete clay bottom. They have spread clay everywhere, and as you can see, he has been going and packing it down, and it seals. We got a little rain last night and this the water that you seen before on that dove hunt was up here and now the the grade goes down uh west to east and so these will be really nice shallow entry banks these will be kind of steep but this is going to be our beach area where we'll chill fish whatever uh we never hit water we never hit water um so this is what's in here is a collection of rainwater over the last basically week and a half two different rains and it's already holding really well so dude if we got like a i don't know if we got like a two or three incher i think it would fill to like up there well especially after this all the runoff coming down too now that these sides are packed yeah yeah think, now, now that these are so that's what he's going to get the motor grader to smooth all this out basically as smooth as this but it is dude it's the clay it's it's good stuff it really is it's it's good stuff down here will be our deep end um it should fill up really well it should get quite a ways up uh but the farther you go up there's a little more sand around the edge up there so uh it should never overflow uh how the banks are how, how mom construction did the banks and I want to give them a huge shout out because their idea for this is just blowing me away step by step Garrett's like all right this is what I want to do do you trust me and I'm like yeah that's that sounds great and um, long story short they're just killing it if you guys need a pond uh, I will link mom construction uh, they're just north of me out of Lindsburg Kansas and if you're around this area they will hook you up with a pond and they do great work. As you can see, it's gonna be huge. So, it's gonna be huge. Um, as you can see, this is the mess up. I don't know. Brad wants me to dig the damn thing up. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It just needs to be a freckle. Just so, so basically, we're now we're parallel with the pit line you're basically facing straight this way it needs to be turned literally how many degrees like 10 yeah 10 Fif degrees 15 to the most. east and the shooting would be better but on a north wind my idea is 
to really stack this side with the decoys and make them pull across up into the wind all the way into the cove. If they do that, be perfect. Everybody will have a good shot. Be perfect. It just gets iffy the more it switches out of the northwest and west. Yeah. Whoever's on the left side, you're, there's not a question about <laughs> you, but the guys on the right side might be yeah. SOL. Right. But here she is. This is in all her glory. Uh, they will be done today. If not tomorrow, they'll be done with all the major dirt today. Uh, and then I think Garrett's gonna bring in a skid steer. I'm gonna walk across this. He should be able to. He's gonna bring in a skid steer and uh, this will all be done. This is the way this will, this is the bottom of my pond. I may, I, hopefully I never see it again. Hopefully it holds water. And uh, I know y'all are recommending a well. I wanna hunt it. And so if I put in a well, like I was saying before, uh, I would need to have livestock on it and it would need, the water first of all would need to be for my livestock. So I've been wanting to get a couple cows just because we eat so much beef, uh, I would use the meat, obviously, and it would actually save me a bunch of money. Um, and number two, I could put two, three steers on it and pump it and keep it full all the time. Look how beautiful it is. So this is the pit blind up on the hill. And this is what I'm saying to give you guys an idea. So basically, see where we're... This is where we're shooting right now. With this new addition, if it was just turned a hair bit, so we're shooting like here, where Brad is, that's what we're talking about. But for the most part, there's actually turning out to be a lot more water over here. It's just the wind. If it's north, it's always a hair northwest. That's the, I think it'll work perfect. I, I, I'm sold on it. I'm, I'm really happy with the way I did it, and uh, I didn't do it, <laughs> they did. Thank you, Garrett. Y'all got to go give Garrett a follow on Instagram. Awesome guy, you just seen him, and uh, he's really hooked it up. Such a gracious guy, man, just wants to help out. He's been a fan of the channel. Heck, he's been a, he has been a Ducks Shirt of the Month subscriber almost just as long as he's been a subscriber that, to the channel that one that he's got on now was what well, that was september 2018. Oh, so think. three years yeah probably three years ish yeah. that's awesome big shout dedication. out dedication dedication big shout out to garrett and big shout out to everybody that has and still <laughs> is subscribed to the ducks t-shirt of the month this is the man that whips them up every single one of them it comes from that little peanut brain in there. <laughs> yeah, I did, guy. <laughs> Old Garrett, he does not mess around. Check it out. That's motor grader. Huh. I missed mine. Uh, but that's a lowdown on the pond, y'all. Um, when I come back, well, no, before I leave, before I leave for Alaska, uh, the pond will be done and I'll be praying for rain. So everybody out there, do your rain dance for Bob and uh, include it in your prayers and your thoughts. I would like to uh, have it fill up a little bit to see how it held before I put a well on it. You know what I mean? Just to have an idea. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was not action packed. R2 ugly grills don't make the best content in the world, but doing what we can out here. Be sure, if you are a big game hunter, like Bradley himself, bucks, baby. Go check it out. I will link it down in the description below. It's the new, uh, it's the new apparel. It's the new merch of Whitetail. So, like I said, it will be linked down there. Smash the uh, old notifications button down there because it will uh, notify you when these Alaska videos drop. The next video that goes up will be the first Alaska video. Good luck on your New Mexico goat hunt, yeah, brother. Yeah, I won't see you for... It's going to be a minute. Kill some brant? Yeah, I hope. I hope I kill something cool. Hopefully... Hope, I hope you bring, kill something you cool. You guys will bring a few tarsals back. Oh. oh. Fingers crossed. Rain and tarsals. Rain and tarsals. Rain and tarsals. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we need. All righty, so, brother. Drive safe. Right on. Okay. I'll see you like in a month or a month and a half or something long. Shit, It'll be a while.
It'll be a bit. Good All luck. right. Safe travels. You too, brother. But the Alaska hunt. Just gonna say I'm overly excited for it. It is gonna gonna be amazing. The scenery's unreal. We're gonna take you. Me and P Diddy. P Diddy's gonna film and edit the entire thing, so you know it's gonna be good. Uh, we're gonna film the entire traveling process. We have so many flights to jump on, and we have to stay the night in Anchorage. It's gonna be great. The two giveaway winners on the podcast that won the free trip, uh, they will be with us. We get to meet them. It's gonna be amazing. Don't miss those videos. Subscribe if you haven't, folks. Be safe out there with them shotguns. Uh, think ahead. Uh, don't overload the boats. And uh, have a good one.